Hi, I'm Chris Calcutt from Focusrite Innovation and I'm here at DV247 and we're going to take a look at the brand new uh, Focusrite iTrack Solo. The brand new iTrack Solo is Focusrite's first interface which will work directly with your iPad. Um, it will also work with your PC or Mac computer as well. Okay, so we're going to have a look now at how we can use the iTrack Solo directly with your iPad. We can actually take a guitar and record it into GarageBand. You can see on my iPad screen here I've got GarageBand, so we'll open this up. So I'll open up the uh, song, which I currently have set up to just, at the moment, have a drum track on there. Um, I've also got um, a guitar uh, track as well, where I've loaded in a guitar instrument. So let's just double click on that. Um, in this window, I need to make sure that I'm actually going to uh, take the signal from the guitar and in order to do that, I just press on the jack plug icon here. And from my channel inputs, I choose to go from the right channel. The right channel is the same as channel two on the iTrack Solo. I'm also going to turn on my monitor. This allows me to listen to my guitar through GarageBand and therefore hear all the effects that I'm applying to it. Okay. The next thing is for me to plug my guitar into the iTrack Solo, like so, and just check my levels. We can see here instantly that my levels are at far too, far too high at the moment. So I'm going to actually back this down until I get a decent level. And this is represented on the halo around the gain input control. When we've got a green signal, that means it's a good quality recording signal. If it's red, that's too much. So we need to back off. Okay. I go back to my main screen in uh, GarageBand now. Um, Go back to the very beginning, hit record. I'll go back to my main arrangement screen there now, and we can see that we've created a really great guitar take. If I want to add another track now, I can go to my instruments and then choose from the various different options here. We can then go for audio recorder and this time I can plug my microphone directly into the XLR socket on the front of the iTrack Solo, make sure I'm going to record in from the left channel or channel one, turn my monitor on and away I can go. So the idea behind the iTrack Solo is to give you a really high quality mic preamp for you to record directly into either your iPad or into your computer. If we look at the front panel, we'll see that we have one microphone input here uh, with an XLR connection. This is obviously for connecting your mics in. And we've also got um, a 48 volt uh, phantom power switch as well, which lets us use condenser microphones and that sort of thing for recording. Channel two is an instrument input with a high impedance input so you can plug your guitar directly in or your bass guitar. And uh, we have a, a nice big volume control here and a direct monitor switch. The direct monitor switch is there to let you listen to what you're actually recording rather than through the software. This is useful if you're ever experiencing latency whilst you're recording your instrument or vocals. On the back of the unit, we have two phono connections for your audio output, a USB connection to let you connect power or connect it to directly to your computer. We also have a device link. The device link is Focusrite's connection directly to the iPad. Also on the back, we have the ability to use a Kensington lock to keep your unit nice and secure. In the box, you'll find the interface. You'll also find the device link cable, which actually plug directly into your iPad. Um, you'll also get um, a code which lets you download a copy of Ableton Live Lite and Focusrite's brilliant Scarlet plug-in suite, which includes a compressor, reverb, EQ, and gator effects. So there we have it, the Focusrite iTrack Solo the perfect interface for your iPad or your PC or Mac. If you'd like some more information about the iTrack Solo, have a look at dv247.com.